It's great to be here in New Zealand for the International GS 2020 with you, Ralph. We've got two amazing bikes here, both black and yellow color schemes. There's definitely a theme going on here, isn't there? Absolutely. So the International GS Trophy 2020 is under the color scheme of uh, black and yellow because we are celebrating also the 40th anniversary of the GS and that is one of the reasons for the color scheme. Okay, and this scheme is also reflected in rider clothing and I can also see in this helmet with your name on it. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, absolutely. So we call this bike uh, the Bumblebee, the R100GS, uh, um, which came out in this, in this color scheme and we choose that for not only for the bikes of the Trophy but also for the rider equipment and also the helmet. So the new version of the uh, GS helmet is also in this color scheme. So that will be something that you find everywhere. And I can see there's a little sticker on the helmet there. <laughs> is that anything special from your side? Yeah, yeah, that is true, um, because one of my sons loves to put stickers on my helmets and he always likes it when I send pictures from somewhere in the world with a sticker on the helmet and he's always very proud that I still have the sticker on there. Superb, superb. So, so many iconic bikes that have rolled, so many iconic GSs that have rolled off the production lines over the past 40 years or so. Any idea how many of them have uh, come out of the factory? Yes, we know quite exactly. It is around uh, 1.2 million GSs produced since 1981. And the best thing is that there are still more than 900,000 of them are still on the road. That's an incredible ratio, that really is. And this bumblebee behind you then, what's it doing here? Are you planning to ride it in the trophy? I'm looking forward to have at least one day also on that bike, yeah. And of course, you'll be looking forward to having a few more days on this bike too. <laughs> Yeah, of course, there is more than 30 years of developing in between and engineering. Yeah, of course, the bikes today are more capable than they used to be in the 90s, like the Bumblebee is. So I think most of the time I will be on the F850 GS. Yeah, yeah but, but that, of course, reminds me of the time in 2012 when you brought an R80 G slash S from about 1983 to the GS Trophy in South America. And you rode the entire course in in Argentina and Chile and actually the bike did pretty well didn't it? Yeah that was really cool that was my first GS trophy in, uh, in 2012 and it was fantastic to see how well that bike was all between all the other bikes and all the trophy more than two and a half thousand kilometers it was the journey of my life actually. And it's great for the owners of the new bikes who are here just to be able to see the old bikes competing just to be able to see what they can do of course but 40 years of GS then, as the year progresses through 2020, what have you got in store for us? Any special plans? Yes, of course. It is not only the 40th anniversary of the GS, it is also the 20th anniversary mm. of uh, the Garmisch uh, BMW Motorrad days. And so stay tuned, in Garmisch you will see much more of this color scheme uh, with black and yellow. Lovely. Thanks for talking to us, Ralph. We look forward to it. Thank you, Andy.